Well, hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Chip back with you from the Expanded Pan Trap Line. I'm out here on a high fence job. You can see the fence right here. Makes a corner. Uh, but I found a crossover right here. Right here is where these coats are crawling under. It's just a little depression right there. It's kind of hard to see, but there are faint coat tracks in there. They're actually fresh, but uh, you kind of see one toe right there. Uh, look on the other side, you see claw marks where it's getting on his belly and crawling through here. So what we're going to do, oh, I said a completely, totally blind set. Now all I've done so far, I've dug my trap bed right there. I dug his trap bed really tight, really close. That is a um, um, Circle C uh, coat trap that uh, Tom Bodette makes. Uh, great, great trap right there. I got a big old expanded pan uh, pop riveted on this one right here. Um, but at any rate, it's a little bit wide right through here on either side. What I'm going to do, um, I see some chunks of wood right there. I'm going to lay one right there. I'm just going to tighten that down just a little bit. Not, nothing, nothing really bold, nothing, you know, screaming. Hey, there's a trap here. I'm just going to tighten that down a little bit on either side. I may get some of this greenery right back here if I can figure out how uh, to edit these together. I will come back and try to shoot a little video and try to edit these together of this finished set when I get done. I just wanted to show you this location right here. Great. Uh, I've heard folks talking about trapping these high fences and these crawl unders for a long time and um, have just have not had a chance to... Um, do one myself or see one find one but this is classic right here so uh we're going to uh one thing i wanted to point out this guy that i'm working for here is really crazy about his deer he's got some some super super fine bucks in here that he raises thus the high fence he spent a lot of money here and he's got me in here to help clean up his coyotes uh that are hurting his deer so i do not want to take a chance on snaring this would be an ideal snare location but uh, I don't want to take a chance of snaring a, a deer. Now, a big old buck's not going under there, but smaller doe and those genetics are, are carried through the does just as well as so are the bucks. I don't want to take a chance and probably could get away with it right here because that's not deep enough really even for uh, a doe to cross. But here again, I just don't want to take any chances whatsoever here. This guy's here a bunch and, and uh, I certainly don't want to, you know, I'm here to protect this deer and not catch them. So uh, just wanted to point that out. That's the reason I'm using a leg hold. I'm going to stake it way back here, kind of back where you see the stake uh, is already hooked up to the trap. That way the coyote does not have a chance to get over there and do any destruction to the fence when I when I catch him. Actually, the catch circle will be uh, where the trap is, will be on the far side. So he's got enough room to stand there, and he should be there when we come back. All right, guys, just kind of want to show this, this and uh, hopefully I can figure out how to edit the finish set back, back in here. Okay guys, uh, part two here, the same uh, uh, same high fence that we just set up. Uh, last shot I showed you the trap bed right here. This is the crawl under right here with coyote tracks in it. Uh, my trap is bedded right in this area right here. It's got completely lured up and lined up. I got this log to kind of block his, as he crawls under, to block him from going this way. I got this little vegetation that wasn't here a minute ago coming this way. This little, I'm not sure what you call this little weed right here, but I felt like I kind of had a little open spot. That's enough that should guide that coat right back through this open spot. He's going to go the easiest place that he can go. So uh, right here and also right over here, I got a green briar stuck in there. So uh, guys, you can kind of get by with a little bit more blocking and uh, blocking him down on a complete blind set like this and you couldn't necessarily with a lure or, or bait set. Uh, no lure, no bait in this. This is purely 100% uh, blind set. Um, I have uh, driven an earth anchor in way back out up in here. So when that trap is right there, that's as far as he can get toward the fence. He cannot, uh, he can't do any damage to the fence once he gets caught. Uh, and hopefully we'll, he'll be standing here in the morning. All right, guys, just wanted to, to show you a uh, crawl under set right there completely blind set when you find these places uh it doesn't even have to be a high fence i've even seen some of these like in uh bob bar fences uh around different places so when you see these is something pretty neat to set up and uh it's always cool to um, just kind of use this use his own uh tactics against him to catch his coats so i uh, love this game i uh, appreciate you guys watching uh we're gonna get a little further down the trap line and until next time guys remember the smart trapper is always learning